Hello and welcome to the EQ Programmer Bitmap Wizard tutorial. The Bitmap Wizard makes it easy to create stunning animations out of picture files. In order to open up the Bitmap Wizard, simply click onto the Wizards and then onto the Bitmap Wizard. The Bitmap Wizard consists out of two easy steps. In the first tab, called Bitmap Matrix, simply choose the kind of fixtures you would like to use and the section that you would like to use for animating the picture. If you click onto the folder icon, you get to the browser where you can choose out of a lot of different supported file types for pictures, such as PNGs, GIFs, JPEGs and much more. Below the preview of the picture you have chosen, you can choose if you would like to do the animation on intensity fixtures or color fixtures. We are working with an RGB fader matrix, so we would like to go for color channels. Inside of the second step of the bitmap wizard called animation, we always have a beginning and an end where we can fill in values. In order to let the picture do one full turn, simply fill in 360 degrees. During this full rotation we would also like to do a zoom effect. For example from 20 to 100%. You can also set start and ending positions for the x and y axis, or you can randomize within the given limits. As I have filled in a zoom level of 20% for the beginning, there will be an outside area surrounding the picture. For this outside area you can either choose a color, for example white, because it fits the logo of EQ very well, or you can do wrap around, which means creating several copies around the original picture. You can now set how many cues should be rendered. Please keep in mind that the default value is 20 and the duration is set to 5 seconds. 20 single cues for 5 seconds is not that much. So please make sure to use at least 20 frames or 20 cues per second. So for example, I will fill in 100 cues for a duration of 5 seconds. You can also set how the movement should be done. If it should be a linear movement, a movement with a soft start or a soft stop or both. The oversampling option will smoothen out the animation even more. Just click onto OK. Also click OK onto the little reminder. And if you start the cue list, you can see the animation directly. The great thing about the bitmap wizard is that you can still change the animation. Let me show you a little example of how easy it is to change the animation. The queue number 100 consists out of the logo with 100% zoom. I would like to change the timing of that queue 100 by simply just double clicking on it, changing the wait time, and now we have the logo with 100% for 2 seconds. Let's take a look. Alright, this looks good. But so far we don't have a real loop. In order to do a real loop, we start up the bitmap wizard again. We choose the same kind of fixtures and a section, as well as the same picture. Clicking onto the animation now, I would like to do the animation the other way around, so zooming back from 100 to 20%. I also set the same outside color to white, and I render another 100 cues. Clicking onto the OK button now, we really have a seamless loop animation. Yes, it's that easy. Using the bitmap wizard allows you to do stunning animations out of one single picture and still you can change any kind of timing of one single picture inside of the animation. 